Hello, crafty friends. My name's Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for the May 2024 Sheet Load Showcase. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look with you at what my collaboration team created using the latest sheet load of cards. This is a great recap for all of us if you've already visited their videos and Instagram posts, or if you haven't gotten a chance to yet, it's a great way to see them all. After today's video, if you're interested in learning more about one or two or three or more of the sets you see, make sure to check out the description box below for links. If you haven't yet downloaded your free printable, make sure to check out the debut video, which is also linked down there, as well as a process video where I share how I made my first set and give you some tips on putting the cards together. This month's sheet load of cards, if you follow the sketch and supply list and the cutting guides, you're going to yield eight cards with just two pieces of 12 by 12 pattern paper and some cardstock. Now in my original process video, I did show you how I made the whole eight. The other day on my channel, I did go live with an alternative version and I used some of the newest products from Not Too Shabby to create these two portrait cards using 6x6 paper. Now if you haven't yet seen this video, I will have the replay linked down in that description box below as well. And channel members, don't forget, this month you have access to the free SVG file for cutting or the PDF to print and hand cut to help you place the center pattern paper right in the middle of that background one. Make sure to check out the community tab and or the monthly blogs. Now let's take a look at all of the wonderful cards from this month. Up first is the May 2024 guest artist, Tracy of the Not Afraid of Color YouTube channel. She created a bright and cheerful set of birthday cards using the new printable. And if you look real closely, you can see some of those centers are shakers. If you would like to see Tracy in action, make sure to join her, myself, and Yvette for next weekend's Sheet Load Live. You can check out the description box for a link to set a reminder. Up next is Teresa of the Fresh and Renewed with Teresa YouTube channel, and she used this month's sketch to create a set of Thinking of You cards. I love those papers and all of the varied ephemera she used for her focal points. Yvette of the Yvette Olea Creates YouTube channel and one of my guests in next weekend's Sheet Load Live created a set of festive graduation cards with this month's printable. I love all of that shine on the gold cardstock. Amalia of the Cool Cakes and Crafts with Amalia channel created this set of happy cards that could be sent for pretty much any occasion. I love how she has those cute little butterflies up in the top left. Ashley of the Mint Twist Cards YouTube channel used the May 2024 sketch for a set of nautical cards. I love kind of the non-traditional blue and peach on those pattern papers and how she has left some of the fronts blank to be able to send for any occasion. Beth of the Bourbon Creek Crafts YouTube channel used this month's printable to create a set of thank you and hello cards. I love the white, black, and gold, especially how that gold shines. Carmen of the Choose Joy with Carmen YouTube channel created a set of birthday cards this month. I love those pretty colors on the pattern papers and how she has used glitter cardstock for her skinny strips. Chelsea of the Creative Chelsea YouTube channel created a set of Hello Friend cards. I am loving the monochromatic pattern papers and that big, beautiful sheer bow. Karen of the Karen's Crafting Company YouTube channel created a set of eight Hello cards with the May 2024 sheet load printable. I am loving the pink gingham paired with the little bicycle and moped pattern papers. 
Lisa, who shares over on Instagram as at scrapbook girl, also split her theme in half by doing some thank you and hello cards. I love the big bold sentiments and those beautiful papers she used. Mariah, who is at Fuzzy Slippers Designs on Instagram, created a set of eight Mother's Day cards with the new printable. I am loving the paper she chose and the little twine bow on the sentiment circle. And last for this month, but not least, is Sandy, who shares over on Instagram as at Stamp with Sandy. She has a couple different colorways for her set this month, and I love how she has also turned some of her cards portrait. I know I sound like a broken record because I say it every month, but this really is one of my favorite videos to make, and I hope that you enjoyed it too. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to go visit your favorites using those links in the description box. I know that they would love for you to stop by, see what they created, and leave them some love. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.